Welcome to Zombieland. This place is a ghost town, and at one point they found scores of ex-contractors who lost contracts living in these Connex boxes that have been vandalized or hit by mortars. So it's an interesting place, but it's the only place on base where I can be alone and I don't feel so weird talking to myself. A little update on the last dog that we sent home, Affy. From the time I posted the video, uh, within 23 hours we had enough money to send him home. And he got home quick, within a month. Quarantine, we thought it was going to be three months, he's, he's already home. He's in Colorado, he's playing with the snow, he's got a great family, a great home. He's always going to have food to eat. No pork, of course, but yeah, he's home and we couldn't be happier and we just want to thank you so much for doing that. We raised that money because of you guys and we also had a lot of help from a news organization in Colorado Springs who put it on you know, the nightly news and it's on the, their website and we got the money so quick and all the donators to that just you know are unbelievable. Listen, this isn't me man. I, I'm doing these little videos because I like, I like to do it but I'm not, um, I'm not adopting these puppies. It's these veterans out here uh, doing this for these puppies. Uh, I'm just kind of the vessel to bring it to you. So I appreciate all the uh, thank yous and um, you know support f thinking that I'm doing something, but it really just, I just point a video camera at these dogs, but it's really the veterans that are actually uh, paying for, it, for this, these dogs to come home and taking them in and, and you know meeting them when they get home and providing a good life. I'm not providing anything. So uh, thank you for that too, uh, but it, it's not my uh, it's not my generosity whatsoever. I'm just a vessel. That brings us to our little dog bear. When I stepped foot into Afghanistan it was the day that my divorce papers went through. So I was kind of down in the dumps, and I was down in the dumps because of this place. And then uh, I see this little dog, and we had a connection right away. And just love this little thing. Story goes, uh, Tony, the same guy who found our little black dog with the ears cut. Tony found him in a ditch, whimpering, malnourished, he scooped him up, brought him in, got him back healthy, got him eating food, uh, he just turned out to be the love of all of our lives. We'd come into work and that would be our first thing, where's Barrow's pet bear? And then we'd do our thing, but during the day I would play with him, I'd get a little break and I'd run over and give him a hug and we just had a real good connection. We found a home for him, an ex-marine, great guy, he works with us, he's got a place in America for him. And Bear's going to go to green pastures, he's going to play with animals, it's going to be a great time. We had a blueprint after Affy left of how to get a dog from here, four hours away via car, medical expenses taken care of, quarantined, and then shipped home to America. We got Bear out of here a week after Affy, but things didn't go so well. He made it to quarantine, but I think there's been some medical issues, he's been held back. This is the hard part for me. I hate asking people for money, I really do. And uh, I just love dogs, you know? These dogs don't hurt people. And we hurt them, you know? So, uh, man, I, I, I just can't thank you guys enough. I mean, when I ask you guys to give a little bit, I mean like, if you can throw in a dollar, and we got people giving me $100, giving 20 $40, it's like, oh wow, you know? Influencers. Navy YouTubers, Austin Alexander, Nikki MGTV, giving me love on their platforms where they reach a broad uh, spectrum of people. Uh, that's just like, it melts my heart, you know, and makes me proud to be a veteran of, of, our, of our Navy. And I thank you guys so much for that. The link for Bear is below. Please go check that out. Do what you can. And I'm gonna give you an update on our little broken puppy, Fenrir. I made a video about him and Put, it, put the video up and within three days we raised that money. We had some great donators. Uh, there's an anonymous guy, girl, who gave $425 and I just want to thank everybody of course but that last push was unbelievable. In fact, as soon as we reached that number, we set up the appointment, we got a truck here in Afghanistan and we got the dog out. And he's doing, he's in quarantine right now, he's been healthy. Everything's looking good and we're looking to get him out to America, to Las Vegas in one month. I have a bunch of videos to make and I'm gonna make those videos a lot of military questions I'm gonna answer. Uh, I'm gonna to get to those eventually, so just hold tight on that. Uh, this will probably be my last vlog until I get to the United States. I think I'm gonna go home for R&R &R in a month. 
but uh, right now it's starting to warm up and things are getting a little bit weird here so I think it's best that I focus on uh, the task at hand instead of doing vlogs and videos. Um, I'm going to keep people updated on Instagram, so add me there. Same name as my YouTube channel. I feel that it's a little bit safer if you DM me uh, than YouTube messaging. So do that. If you have a question you want answered, I'm going to add it to my list. I'll make a video when I get back to the United States, but I'm keeping a low profile right now and just doing Instagram stuff. Okay, that's it. Thank you so much. Again, you know who you are. You're awesome in my book. You're part of the team. And let's get these dogs home. I'm going to keep you updated. See ya.